Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Ready, Set, Drone. Um, I have the Kalen Vision FPV goggles here with me, courtesy of GearBest. They sent them to me to check out. So I'm gonna check them out and see what I think. All right, so anybody who flies FPV probably knows what these are, uh, Fat Shark Dominator V2s. Fact sharks have been sort of the standard for a long time. These guys have a decent reception, decent picture. Um, they're pretty solid. Batteries last a long time, and they've got a built-in DVR that you can actually record to, which is pretty cool for recording stuff. Um, but they're three, four, five hundred bucks, depending on which version you get. Um, the V2s, the V3s, uh, the Dominators, etc. So I liked the idea of an alternate to that, um, especially for like if my wife or son want to check out what I'm doing, FPV, they can wear these, or uh, I have some little indoor F FPV racers that um, these can be used for as well, so I didn't have to buy a second pair of Fat Sharks. So the Kylan Vision goggles actually have pretty good specs. They're uh, 5.8 gigahertz, 64 channels built into this thing. Um, they have a five inch screen on the inside, they have an 800 by 480 resolution, which is WVGA. The Fat Shark Dominators is actually 640 by 480, so these are an improvement over the Fat Sharks in terms of the size of the screen. Um, they're pretty bright. You can do NTSC or PAL. They have a USB charging post in the side, a volume with a built-in speaker. I'm not quite sure what that would uh, do. That You can use them for about 30 to 60 minutes, and they take about that long to charge as well. Via the USB, they do have a removable battery right up here in the top. It's a um, it's a li lipo. Uh, let me see if I can pull it out. There we go. They have this lipo. It's a 3.7 volt, 2,000 milliamp hour. So it's a 1s uh, lipo battery that goes right in there in the top. Um, I believe it has a JST connector, so it's a pretty standard connector, um, and snaps in well, no screwdriver required. I only had to do it to pry the thing out, but if you have fingernails, you don't have to worry about it. And they do come with a uh, clover leaf covered up um, receiver antenna, which screws in right here on this bit. So for the last hour, I've been flying this uh, Helipal Atom with my Fat Sharks. Uh, so I'm gonna try flying this with the uh, Kylan Vision FPV goggles and see what the difference is and see, uh, what the experience is like. Okay, so I've got the copter on. I'm about to turn on the uh, power on these. Oh, hey, and look at that. I don't know if you can see it, but immediately I got a signal, which is pretty awesome. Um, these are 5.8 gigahertz, and the other thing about them is that they have an auto seek feature, which means if you push the up or down button, they search for a signal. So you don't have to sit there and click, click, click like you do on the Fat Sharks. You actually just um, push the search button and they're gonna try and find the best signal for you. So I'm gonna put them on. And boy, I'll tell you what, they, it is a big, it is a big view. It feels much, much bigger than the Fat Sharks did. Um, go ahead, aim this away from me a little bit. And I'm gonna try taking off with it sitting here in this pavilion, flying out to the field. All right, so immediately my first thing is that the picture is not as sharp. It looks a little bit more, uh, a little softer, like just basically like it's slightly out of focus. And I don't think there's any way to adjust the lens on this. It's not bad, it's just, um, it just feels a little bit more uh, out of focus than uh, than the uh, Fat Sharks do. The picture is huge and very bright. It's actually brighter and bigger than the Fat Sharks, which is a pretty nice thing. Um, and there's not a lot of breakup. Uh, you know, the transmitter on the little Atom is uh, 200 milliwatts, so it definitely has some power, the transmitter does. But uh, it's not breaking up as much I think is the Fat Sharks. Now that maybe that has to do with the antenna, maybe it's the way the antenna is connected, but um, overall it's a pretty nice clean view that I can see in these things, which is nice. Um, again, it just it's, it's like they're just a little bit soft on focus compared to the Fat Sharks. Uh, kind of hard to explain, but um, 
but very flyable in terms of a $99 uh, pair of goggles. All right, so that was kind of a long flight, but uh, man, these things are pretty cool. They are uh, 99 bucks. I wish there was a better way to show you the screen, but let me see if, uh, if you can take a look in there. This is the, um, this is it right here. I'm, I'm looking at, I'm looking at the quad, quad camera and you're looking at the, uh, in the goggles. I mean, that's the signal that you're getting. Now it's close and I'm moving it around, but you can see it's very clear. You can see the OSD really well. Um, I like these things. The upside to them, uh, obviously the price is great, 99 bucks. Um, the self-seeking channel finder, you push the button and it goes through and seeks and finds the right channel. The size of the screen is great. Um, and they, they look pretty cool too. The downsides, I'd say, uh, the sharpness of the screen is not great. Um, I have to say after flying for about 10 minutes with them on, five minutes with them on, I got used to it and so it didn't bother you as much. I guess I had just taken off my fat sharks and I could see the difference, but the screen's not quite as sharp, um, number one. And uh, gosh, number two, I don't know if there's any other downside. Oh, no built in DVR. So you can't record with these like you can with the Fat Shark, which is kind of a bummer. But hey, for 99 bucks, um, the Kylan Visions on Gearbest are the way to go if you're looking for your first pair at a, at a low price or a second pair. Um, so you don't have to buy a second pair of Fat Sharks. Um, probably great for everyone up to the super advanced racing. Um, people, but for people like me who are more casual flyers or for someone who's just getting started, I think these Kylan Vision goggles are the way to go. Thanks to GearBest for sending these. Uh, check out the rest of my videos on my channel. If you like it, please subscribe and we'll see you next time on Ready, Set, Drone.